Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeremy. The topic of this part is how antenna works. So, while the electromagnetic waves are emitted by the communication towers that broadcast TV and radio, they propagate out in different directions. If the dipole elements are placed in the direction in which electromagnetic waves propagate, induction electromotive force can be produced on the dipole elements under the influence of the electromagnetic waves. In this case, if you connect the TV antennas to TV or other receiving device, a high frequency current will be generated at the input of a TV or other receiving device. In this way, the main function of antenna is to receive electromagnetic waves and convert them to high frequency current. TV stations around the country deliver their signals directly from their broadcast towers without being compressed. This means your antenna picks up the best possible HD broadcast pictures directly from the source provider and not a middleman like cable or satellite. Therefore, the TV antenna is the one providing you the highest quality of the TV pictures. So let's move to the next step. Find your closest TV transmitter. You can go to the browser and search the keyword TV channel map or DTV reception map. Put the zip code or the address. It would be easy to find out the correct direction. Then choose the antenna depending on the reception distance. For strong signal area, you can use the indoor antenna if you are within 30 miles between your location to the TV transmitter. If you only want the indoor antenna but you are in the distance between 40 to 60 miles, you could consider using an external amplifier or the built-in amplifier type indoor antenna. The way to connect the indoor antenna to the TV is just plugging the coaxial cable to the TV or set-up box. If you have the amplifier, please make sure to connect the amplifier between the antenna and the TV or the setup box. Then, make sure the amplifier is power on. If your location is far away to the TV transmitter, like over 60 miles, or you prefer a better signal, you may need to use an outdoor antenna. The bigger size you have, the bigger gain you get. And the amplifier is the further distant reception. For the outdoor antenna installation, after finishing the antenna assembly, connect the coaxial cable and waterproof cap and aim the antenna to the TV transmitter. Then secure it on the pole. If you got the amplifier, just connect it between the antenna and the TV or setup box. Maybe you are also wondering why there are small outdoor antenna in the market. Actually, they are for the apartment users due to they can't set the antenna in the rooftop. Because they only have limited outdoor space in the balcony or just want to have a nicer antenna that does not block their views. Or some neighborhoods that does not allow to set the outdoor antenna on the rooftop. So, the only solution would be the active antennas. The way to install the balcony antenna and the active antenna is the same. So finally is the part for the channel scan. The channel scan is very easy. Just go to the channel scan mode in the television or the setup box. Then get started to scan. It will spend some minutes. After finishing your scan, enjoy yourself with the crystal clear digital pictures. Look, I got 7 channels. The quality of the channels depends on your local area reception. The picture is nice. TV signal towers will broadcast their signal over the air covering your location. A TV antenna will help capture the uncompressed signal and transfer them to an external setup box or a built-in tuner in your digital TV for decoding. Well, hope my explanation is clear. This is Jeremy. Thanks for your watching.